Hey guys, welcome to another hour review. Today we have a brand new rifle scope from Delta Optics. Uh, this is Delta Optical Titanium 2.5 to 10 by 56 HD. It was made in Japan, but Delta Optics is based in Poland. Like I said, this is a brand new model uh, made specifically for hunting. Uh, it was introduced in 2016. 2.5 to 10 magnification range is very popular with European hunters. Uh, it features 56 uh, millimeter lens. Scope is meant for low light use. It replaces the old non HD model. Um, the new titanium HD version provides much less tunnel effect than previous models. Other improvements are better field of view due to improved optical construction and better image quality. Optical performance is in general way better than expected for this price range. It also features nicer finish and better quality even though the previous model was not bad. It has an unusual position for magnification indicator on the side. Is right here. Um, normally it's on top, but there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. Uh, it has a fixed parallax at 100 meters. Um, it has a really long eye relief. This is suitable for stronger calibers. The total length of the scope is 37 centimeters and weights approximately 735 grams. It's waterproof, fogproof, and shockproof. Uh, it has 10 years warranty and uh, very low warranty claims in our experience. This brand new model from Delta has hunting turrets. One click moves the reticle for 7 millimeters on 100 meters. The clicks are not loud enough, but the click fill is okay. Reset to zero is possible and really easy to do. Like this, you just put it up and back to zero. Uh, it has 12 MOA in one revolution. 10, 10 MOA would be a much better solution, but it works fine as well. This model has second focal plane reticle uh, with a normal hunting 4A style reticle. It also has illuminated, illuminated center dot. Uh, intensity levels goes from one, from 1 to 11, from low light intensities to bright daytime intensities. Extremely fine illuminated dots due to the optical fiber in the reticle. Illumination technology is better than in many more expensive scopes. Like I said, illumination is really fine tunable and this is really good feature. So overall, it's a really good scope for its price, great optics, amazing illumination technology for a scope under 1000 euros, good build quality and long eye relief. Of course, there are some things that could have been done better. Uh, one of them is definitely the size because it's really big and heavy. Like I said, uh, it's 30 centimeters long and weights approximately 735 grams. A little, a little bit better eye boxing would be, would be nice, but nothing critical. Uh, the other thing is that these clicks would be it would be better if it, they would be more audible, but it works as well. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. There, There's more where that came from. So if you like the video, please subscribe and see you guys next time. Thanks.